In this video, we will be studying about the national aggregates that is your GNP at FC or GNP at MP, NNP at MP or NNP at FC. National aggregate means your national product. Gross national product at factor cost, gross national product at market price, na net national product at market price, net national product at factor cost. In the previous video, we discussed only the domestic products that is DP, 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 DP everywhere. In this video, we will be discussing about the NP. Now, how you convert DP into NP that is your GDP at MP is given you have to go to N N P at F C right what will you do number one I've told you that from G to N what you do you subtract the depreciation on or the consumption of fixed capital so your first you will get when you subtract GDP at MP minus depreciation or the other name is the consumption of fixed capital what will you get you'll get N DP at MP now you have converted from G to N means you have got one alphabet now from now this you this you have got NDP at MP now you have to convert MP into factor cost this you know from MP into factor cost how you will you go you will NDP at MP you will deduct indirect taxes you will add subsidies you will get N D P at F C. So we have reached your N and F C point. Now we need this N P that is from domestic product to national product. See domestic product means within your territory, what you are getting within your territory, within your economic territory. Now if there is some income that you have got from abroad like some uh, grants or people living in abroad right so there are some incomes that a country gets from the rest of the world so if we add that income to your domestic product we will get your national product so your NDP at FC plus net factor income from abroad you term it as NFIA that is net factor income from abroad you get your N you convert DP by adding this variable into NP that is national product at FC so from here we have reached here if we have all the given variables with us now your net factor income means income from abroad means your net factor income received from abroad by residents minus your net factor income paid abroad to non-residents
so this is how the income that you will receive from abroad minus the income that you will pay abroad will be your net factor income from abroad see if what you have paid abroad is more than what you have received here it will be minus then right because you'll get net factor income from abroad in negative if your factor income that you received is more than what you paid definitely it will be then you will add it to your domestic product and that you will get your national product simply we can discuss that from g d p at m p you can go to g and p at f c g g and g same so no reduction of depreciation n p and f c are different so from m p to f c what you do you subtract your indirect taxes and add subsidies you get m p for for n p what you do in domestic product you add your net factor income from abroad you get Uh, your national product. So in this way, you can find out your G and P at F C. Similarly, you can find out your G and P at M P. See, G D P at M P is given to you. G in G same, M P and M P same. That is market price and market price. So there is no change. Only what you have to do now is you have to convert D P, that is domestic product, into national product. So what you will do, you will simply Add net factor income from abroad, and you will get GNP at MP. So in similar way, you can find out N NP at MP and your N NP at FC. Your national income is what your nation has earned during an accounting year, right? So your N NP at FC is your national income. If you are asked to calculate the national income, means you are asked to calculate your net national Product at FC. So this is termed as your national income. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.